Thank you. Jenny Luba, I'd like to bring up. Uh, Jenny is a project man uh, manager at the Swiss Pedestrian Association. Hello, my name is Jenny. I'm a geographer. I'm a project manager at the Swiss Pedestrian Association. It's an NGO. And our main activity is to advise municipalities about how to make their streets more walkable. And um, it's quite a challenge to work about walking, not hiking, as I was asked before, because all of us are walking every day. And that's why, kind of reason why nobody really feels concerned generally. And placemaking matters to us uh, because good public space are essential for walking network and also because we need um, people's experience, we need to know it to improve the streets. And I have some leaflet about the, our NGO. Um, the availability of seats in public space is really essential. And to ensure that you have enough benches on walkways is very, a very uh, good action, efficient action to improve something, as I will show you in the project I present. And I like to say that um, a couch or sofa is, belongs to, to your living room, and the same way benches belongs to public space and to street. They are infrastructure that really enables autonomous mobility, especially for elderly people, but also other kind of profiles. I like to compare the walking network and the bench network as two things that have to match each other and be coupled. And among professionals, we agree that the right metric is about uh, 300 meters between each bench, or even 100, 150 meters, if we are talking about a place where many elderly people are living. If you visualize your favorite public space now, I bet many of you see a bench, maybe a bench and a tree, because it's the best symbol for public space, usually. And I make the difference between um, long stay benches, let's say more than 10 minutes, where you stay there because you found everything you expect from a public space, like on this picture, and short stay benches, or what I would call stepping stone benches, which really enables somebody who needs to rest on its way to stop, have a rest, breathe a little, and go on. And on this picture, you see a project of the city of Basel, where the city placed about 150 chairs in the city center, exactly to create this kind of pocket public space. My wish is that it would also spread in the periphery, of course. The lack of physical ac activity uh, has the same magnitude as the effect of uh, tobacco, overweight or high blood pressure. So it's a really big health, public health issue. And you get more um, benefits if you manage to make uh, people move, the people that are very little active, if you manage to move these one people and not the sp already sportive ones, as shown on this diagram, uh, the, the, the effect is not proportional. And there is another benefit, financial one. A recent study in, in Switzerland showed that every kilometer walked by foot saves 10 cents, euro cents, if you want, on public health budget. So it's a strong argument also on our side. The case study I want to present is in the city of Neuchâtel. Uh, you see it on the map. There is quite much slope, and it's about 30,000 inhabitants, which for Switzerland is a normal city. We were appointed by the responsible person for health and elderly people in the city to make uh, the streets more walkable for elderly, first in one neighborhood and later in the next neighborhood. And we are especially looking for um, stepping, uh, stepping stones benches, handrails on the way and other walkability aspects, especially crossing, uh, sidewalks and barrier-free access. 
on that picture, you see there is a handrail, but we have to go like this to catch it. So, for example, these kind of problems. The methodology we use is combined. First, we collect all the existing benches and handrails. Then we went with residents, old residents from this area, to see what they need and what are the, the obstacles that they meet on their way. And this information are, are gathered with the tablet computer app that we developed. So we have GIS data at the end to deliver. And the third element, which is very important for me, is qualitative information. We were listening to these residents of this area and they gave us very precious information. For example, uh, where you have the yellow star, it, um, it is apartments only for elderly people. And we learned that the daily trip that they can do if they go out is this one. So the metric of one bench every 100 meters is really appropriate and it's not the case yet. Sometimes you don't have the space for a bench, the slope is not appropriate or uh, it's a private ground so it's problematic. And this city chose to use uh, furniture like chairs with armrest uh, to enable the the, the trips of the seniors on the way. And this picture was taken last week, so I'm happy I can show you some results. It took one year between the analysis and the results. And you also see the new handrails. And by the way, this place became, um, it's more obvious that it's a public way because most of the residents told us, no, no, this is private, but no, it's a public way, a tic-tac that you can take a shortcut. I also propose the solution to uh, improve informal seats like stones, walls or window seals, just adding a padding, something nice like this, and making inviting, uh, comfortable, and also make it visible. Also when nobody sits there, you get the information that, okay, this is a place to be. It's a thematic that is very easy to communicate. Uh, media are very, very, very happy to cover this topic, actually, they came. And uh, I think it's important to see also that benches are an infrastructure, it's money, about 2,000 euro per bench. If you count for the whole city, it's a big capital that sh you should manage the same way you manage lightning, bicy bicycle lane, etc. So my point is that uh, benches really make a place as for being a place. And they really enables autonomous mobility, which is a second strength. Thank you, and if you have questions, please feel free.